Hello guys, welcome back to our uh, snake game development in Java. Uh, in the previous video, we have created the form and draw something on it, uh, including the snake and the food. So we also created the game engine that will handle the animation and the controls, the overall controls of the game. Now, uh, we need to make them move and attach uh, key event handling so that uh, you can control the snake's movement. Remember that the snake is continuously moving with the head in the lead. So we will make the default direction of the snake to be downwards since the head is uh, pointing downwards. So when we start the game, the, uh, the snake will continuously moving downwards. Uh, so either it collide with the border below or the uh, user um, controls it and move it the other way around. Okay, so let's start uh, programming. Okay, so let's um, create another package here. So let's name the package to be uh, snake game dot utilities. Okay, so inside uh, these utilities, uh, let's add another object inside here. So let's create a enumeration. So enumeration. Uh, Let's name the enumeration uh, direction. Okay, so an enumeration uh, is a uh, named constants. So instead of uh, keeping values like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, we can uh, specify a named keywords like this one, up, down, left, right. That is more, much more readable than uh, numbers. To represent the direction of the snake and it where it will going uh, to go so if we press the up the direction that is equivalent here will be the name constant which is up or down or left and right so next uh, let's create another class uh, let's name this one as keyboard Okay, so the, the keyboard will implement a key listener. And this one should be imported. And the keyboard, since uh, as, I, as we have discussed, if it is implements a particular interface, we need to add the methods, the required methods. So there are three required methods in the key listener. So the key type, key press, and then the key release. Okay, so if we, uh, if we press or if we click the keyboard, uh, either of these three will be triggered. So whatever the value for this one. So next, let's create a constructor for keyboard. Okay, so for the constructor, uh, we need something to initialize. So we need to create um, static uh, value, which is the keyboard of type instance or type uh, keyboard, an instance of type keyboard. And then we need to have an array of keys. And Then we need to initialize the keys to two five six. So as you can see, the two five six value uh, represents all of the ASCII uh, value. So if if we look at what is the ASCII, we can check it here ASCII table. So the ASCII table is something like this. So it will represent all of the uh, values in our keyboard so the heck the decimal value for null is uh, zero in ASCII so start of heading so if you look here the carriage return is the enter it is uh, number 13 for the space it is 32 for a is 65 to z which is 90 and the lowercase a okay so as you can see um, that is the ASCII value so until 
127 so we need to cover all of the uh, printable characters in the uh, keyboard so it means that we can reuse this keyboard in other different projects that requires a uh, key event handling so next uh, let's create a static method that will return an instance so static keyboard get instance so if if the instance is equals to null so we're going to set the instance to this uh, keyboard then return the instance okay so next um, we don't need the key type all we need is the key press and key release so we need to monitor what are the keys that are being pressed simultaneously so that's why we created the keys as boolean so uh, we can press a and w at the same time okay. or s and d or anything so so if uh, get key code is greater than or equal to zero and e that get key code is less than keys that length so it is checking if uh, whatever you press um, corresponds to the ASCII then let's set that key code to be true it means uh, it means that it is being pressed right now so if it is released we are going to set it to false so let's um, make this to false okay so here Okay, so next uh, let's create a method that will check if uh, a particular key is being pressed so let's call it is down so in key okay so if key is greater than or equal to zero and key is less than less than keys that length so it means again I'm checking if it is within the ASCII values uh, let's return that key by accessing the index of the array keys otherwise let's return false so that is the uh, keyboard now let's add that keyboard in our game form or in game engine I think so here let's add the private keyboard keyboard so we need to import it okay and then initialize it again keyboard is equals to keyboard dot get instance So this that add key listener and then pass the keyboard instance here so it means that this uh, panel will listen to whatever key event that we initiated via the keyboard class okay so next how I uh, how are we going to move the snake so first let's remove this one Okay, so all, only the food. No, do not do not draw first the food. So let's comment it first. Only the snake, and then uh, let's add a timer, and then let's add a value that is delay. So timer will handle the uh, the overall movements of the game. So every time the timer uh, initiated, uh, it will run. I think every second, and it will delay by 15 uh, millisecond. 
So uh, the equivalent uh, millisecond will be 1000 for every one second. So the delay will be uh, just uh, so fast. It is just 15. If we make it higher, like say 1000, our game will run every second, which is very slow for the snake game. So let's use uh, 15. For the timer, we need to import it. Um, so the timer instance, uh, instance should be coming from Swing, Java Exit Swing. So where it is? Uh, here. Okay. So Java Exit Swing the timer. And then we need to initiate the timer. So timer is equals to new timer. And then the parameter should be how uh, how many the slip will be or the delay will be and what is the event that it will trigger whenever it runs okay so we have the timer instance now initiated so the keyword this will correspond to the action uh, action performed here so it means that every uh, every 15th of a second or uh, a fifth of a second uh, or uh, 0 0.015 percent of a second it will execute the action perform or it will repaint again and again so to show this you can uh, output something so that you can see how how fast this timer is And of course, we need to start the timer. So timer that start there, okay? So let's run the program. Hmm. Okay, so here. So as you can see, it is continuously running. Uh, I don't know how many I am called here, mm -hmm. but, uh, but it is uh, being called uh, very fast okay so next um, let's delete this first so we need the snake to move downwards because that is the default um, movement so let's create a object of enumeration direction so direction direction and then initialize it here so direction is equals to direction that down okay so hmm. so for the repaint let's uh, separate it here so let's create another method update so this is crucial because the update will handle the game over and the start uh, press start to or press enter to start the game so it, uh, the update will handle that so the repaint will be uh, subjected uh, whether the user uh, press enter that is the time that we will going to initialize the repaint or it is game over and the user wants to restart so he needs to press r and then repaint again the uh, overall window so now for our update uh, let's create a um, okay so so our next code should be in the snake part because this is uh, this is the time that we need to adjust the um, each of the parts of the body of the snake so we need to adjust the head the, and the rest of it until the tail. Okay, so let's create a, a new method here in the snake. So we need to um, set the snake's head or update the snake's head. So public void set snake head. 
So we need the initial position and the old position. It means the x and y and the old x and y. So that the rest of the body will follow the um, old x and y of the head. So let's create try catch here. Exception, EX. Okay. So print stack trace. So we need, uh, first we need to set the head by getting the zero index, which is the head, and then set the location of uh, that head to this new value, which is X and Y. And then, uh, we need to loop for the rest of the body. So for int i is equals to 1, i is less than snake body, that size, then i++. plus plus. Okay, so we need to get first their last value or last location. So temp x is equals to snake body that get what is the location of that one and then get location that x and then the y snake body that get that get location that y okay and then set that uh, set those bodies to the old uh, x and y of the head so that sorry that set location the old x and the old y and then pass the old x from the previous one so that the next part of the body will uh, be updated with this new or this old uh, body of the previous um, point in our array so basically what we are doing here is that um, as you can see here if we move the head downwards the next part will be will follow it should be followed and this should be removed and this one will be the new tail so that is what we basically are doing so the the previous location of the head will be the new location of the first half of the body and the last location of the first half of the body will be the new location of the second half of the body and so on so that is uh, this code meant so the, the important part is the head that's why we separated it in the for loop okay so now how we we need to update the game engine to make those uh, changes or to implement those changes rather so we need to create a position so pause x pause y and then old x then old y okay so let's set the position since we set it to 270 let's set them to 270 so uh, pos y is equals to old y is equals to 270 so this code means that the pos x and old x will have the same value as 270 so we just shortcut the uh, assignment and then next in the lower part of our code uh, we need to update uh, for the update one uh, the update will be continuously called in the action performed and continuously repainted the uh, window. So we need to listen for the movement of the snake. So we need to create a method first. So private void check movement snake. Sorry, check snake movement 
will be we have some sense here okay so it means that this uh, this method will listen to whatever uh, key we pre uh, we press so here we can use the keys now or keyboard that is down so what is the key so we can use the constant values in the key event class so let's say vk uh, vka is the character a or the letter a in the keyboard so if we press a the direction will be to left okay so import this key event so else if so let's copy this one so direction is the direction dot right so for the right it will it would be D else if keyboard if we press W the direction will be up so, so else if a keyboard if it is S it will be down so direction is equals to direction that down okay so this is the check uh, snake movement so we need to call it in the update here so check snake movement now uh, uh, depends on the current movement of the snake we can we need to move now the snake so let's create another method move snake so we can use the switch so switch direction so if the case is up as we have set here so let's say up so the position y will be uh, deducted by 10 pixel since it is going upwards so going upwards will uh, minus the value of y so if it is down, the position Y will be added by 10 pixel every time. If it is left, the pos X will be deducted by 10 again. If it is right, the pos X will be added by 10 pixel. So that is the move snake. So we need to call it after the check snake movement. So going here in the update, call the move snake. Okay, and then after uh, those changes, we need to update the snake head. Snake that set snake head. Okay, so. We need to pass the position x, position y, and the old x and old y. And then pass the uh, last position x to old x and the last position y to old y. So we, we are just passing those values so that we can reuse it in the next uh, part of the body of the snake. So uh, let's see. okay so our snake is so f so fast than we anticipated it so let's use the value 50 hmm uh -huh. okay so it doesn't listen on, uh, on my key uh, key press maybe we forget something um, okay so we forgot the keyboard here so keyboard keys was the new keyboard that get instance then frame that add key listener keys i think that's it 
Okay, so we have now uh, a snake that is moving accordingly. If we press the keys, W, S, D, W, A. But there's a problem. So let's say it is moving downwards. If we press W, it goes upward without uh, turning first. So that is, I think, an error, a logic error, because uh, before the snake could uh, move upwards, it should either go left or right. So let's say it is moving downwards, and left, then up. Not uh, from down to up directly, or from right to uh, from right to left directly. So we are going to fix that one in the next video. So that is how are we going to uh, implement some movements and uh, key event handling in the uh, environment of our snake game. Okay, so if you have any questions, please feel free to comment it again in the comment section. And don't for forget to subscribe in these uh, tutorials. Thank you.